Hey guys, it is me, Leif Simmer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monette household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay. So currently it is only Candace and Mr. Jose here at home, and I want Jose to actually head downstairs and watch a little bit of television before we head outside and continue working on our spaceship right here. And I'm so excited to get this done and do a little woohoo hoo in space, which is a new woohoo. hoo well, for The Sims 4, of course. Um, I don't think we've had rockets in The Sims 3, Sims 2, or The Sims 1, other than the little toy ones. So this is really exciting to go off into space. And here's Candace using her new little stove, which is a little disappointing. I hope she, or I wish, I cannot speak, she could have put like the pancakes on here, like the stove, and just flipped it right then and there. I thought that would have been really cute, but it's all good. We're gonna go ahead and uh, have Jose grab a serving um then go and continue watching television go grab yourself some and then go over here and not channel surf but we'll, we will come watch some we'll watch some action why not all right and here how cute are they over here just watching their their television together so cute I love them. Uh -huh. Candace. I can't believe they're so old now. Like, to me, that is, like, mind-boggling. How are they old? Stop it. I don't like it. And how is little Goliath's wifey doing out here? She looks like she's doing okay. It's good. Does she need to be watered? I don't think so, but we can talk to her. We can also fertilize her. So we're going to fertilize her with a daisy. Maybe that's what I'll name her. I'm over here, like, give me an old lady named, like, Gertrude. And then I kind of like daisy. I don't know. We will see. She's done, so she's gonna go out there and water, or not water, but fertilize her. And I also took that microscope sample and put it right here. It looks a little funky, but I like it. I like the sample itself, and um, we need to weed these. And I would love to start growing different plants so we can get more microscope uh, cuttings and, you know, see how those all look. All right, and we're gonna harvest all of them. Hold on, girl, we're not done yet. Harvest our plants, and we will also go ahead and water all of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, Jose, chill. He's going to head out here and continue building his rocket ship because it's so desperately needed to get done, and I'm so excited. And then let's go over here and get our mail. And what did we receive today? We received some geo samples. Yay, it's all I've ever wanted. We're going to go use the potty. All right, and then I think I'm gonna have Candace head up here and continue making some paintings because they're gorgeous. We are going to make a large realism painting. And also for the upgrades, I'm just really content with the house right now. However, you know, we will definitely be needing an upgrade soonish, but I'm just really content. I think the house looks cute and um, I'm, I'm okay with it for now. Um, but she needs to go work on that. And of course, I could actually have her come over here and help him build this, but I want her to go paint for now. And maybe when Drake gets home from work, I will have him help his dad out, or maybe Josh, uh, help him uh, work on the ship. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So I am, who's out here? Oh, it's Parker Caliente. And oh, Megan is still failing. What's new? What is new? Oh, and Taylor is now a student which is really good and I want her to go ahead and come up here and take her homework away girl you don't gotta do your homework we just want you to come up here and draw a little bit and she's feeling inspired which is good she has good grades so she's in a really good mood and she's feeling a little inspired so she is going to go draw for a little bit and what is Megan doing can you help your dad out for now yeah how about you go help him out some daddy daughter time <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna go ahead and do that together. She can now build rockets. Ooh, upgrade landing stabilizers and explore space. And I believe he should be leveling up his as well shortly. Oh, actually, he's only 18% complete on his level three, which is fine. But as the rocket ship grows, you will actually watch it kind of be put together, which is really nice. Can Drake help it as well? Oh, and he's a little bored from work. Whatever. Go ahead and help out. So I'm guessing four sims at a time can actually work on them, which is 
would probably get it done really quickly, huh? Look, look at Megan over here. <laughs> She's, oh, okay. Um, chill, chill out. <laughs> He's literally just hammering it. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Okay, Drake, you should probably not be doing this because it really seems he just, like, he can't. Um, I think the plant needs to be watered now. Yes, go ahead and go water. Possibly Daisy. Oh, maybe. Maybe. And Nadine is home from work. Cool beans. And she needs to actually start writing a book. So I'm going to have her come over here and we are going to write a new book. Yes, we're going to write... Nonfiction, I guess. And we're going to do Heroes of... Heroes of... Hmm. Heroes of Lucky Palms. That's clearly the Fendersons. <laughs> so she's going to start doing that. She's just going to start writing, writing her book for a bit. And I think everything out here is good. Good. We're going to go ahead and put those pancakes away. And I really want Josh to start voodooing somebody else. It's just like, who to voodoo after Cassandra Goth is dead now. And I really, really want her to come back, like, so badly. Um... It's like, who, who do I do this on? Like, do I torture somebody in the house or what? Um, maybe I will invite somebody over. How about Parker Caliente, huh? He's always trying to be like Drake. So we might as well just invite him over and torture him a little bit. I think it'd be fun. So we just wait a second for him to come. Here he is. And we are going to invite him in. Hi, Parker. You're here to... You're here to get poked and tortured. You know, I say I don't torture my sims, but here I am literally torturing a sim. So that's a complete lie. All right, and here we are. So this is officially Parker right here, guys. Yeah, did it not work? Did it not work? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. All right, I think now this is Parker. Let's see. No, why is it not work? Okay, I guess he ran away. What the F ever? Seriously, go, I guess, help your dad and your sister out over here. And what's the matter with Drake? He's in actually, he's in a fantastic mood. I don't know why he didn't help out or continue to help out. But yep, as you can see, it's almost finished. Um, let me just take a little look. Yeah, very, very close to finishing, actually. Let's go ahead and watch it. Like, we're that close to finishing it. And there it is. It's done. It's all done. We can now woohoo and explore space. Ooh. I think we're going to go ahead, since it is about 7, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, why not go ahead and take Miss Candace on a, uh, a very mm, a bumpy ride? Why not? And Nadine finished writing her book. Awesome, Nadine. Go ahead and head out here and self or sell the publisher. Here is the Lucky Pumps. Here we go, guys. Here they are in their little face shoots. Shoots, guys. Okay, bye. How cute. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. How adorable. And there they are. Because this was totally possible. They, like, just stopped the spaceship just to wait there. Okay. Okay, sure. But, yeah, they kind of just look like a little speck in the sky. But so cute, huh? Did you see them kind of, like, jump on? Like, yeah, let's go have fun. How cute. How freaking cute. I love it. And Drake is going to head out here and play the guitar for a little bit. I do want, um... Oh, and the 50 Mile High Club, here they are, and they're back. Let's go ahead and see what that's all about. Look at them. <laughs> Two little old folks. So funny. It is dangerously tired. Oh my gosh, please don't die on me. Please don't die on me. This has happened before. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little elders. 50 Mile High Club, there's nothing like your first time in space. Oh my goodness, they better stop. My goodness, look at Megan. 
But like I was saying, I want um, Nadine and Drake to actually go partying tonight for a little bit. Like, why not, right? So I'm going to have her... It's already getting kind of late. So she's going to go use the toilet really quickly. Drake, he's pretty much ready to go. So she's just going to go use the toilet. Change her outfit to her party attire, maybe. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, she looks good in her party attire. That will work. And I think these two... Are good for now <laughs> um how's drake actually i'm not drake josh he's gonna go to sleep so yeah it is time to go partying guys we might even bring our guitar to pluck some strings while we're there and maybe get a good audience applaud we will see but yeah guys i am going to go ahead and see you all there. okay guys in here we are at a updated blue velvet i did a little bit of updating just because i was like why not uh let's just make this place a little bit more fanciful and here we actually have one of the sims i decided to add into the town you may see some of them or some of the sims you have made kind of chilling around this town i think that's really cool so hopefully you do it's so like be like hey i made that sim and if you did leave a comment in the de not the description the comment section down below telling me that oh hey that's my sim so people can be like oh um but here's one of the sims i made she is loco kiko so she is pretty much your alien she's a little loco and that's why they call her loco kiko so um what is nadine going to do Oh, she's going to go eat some pancakes. Okay, whatever floats your boat. But after that, she's going to go ahead and uh, not make a drink. I want to order a drink, if that's okay. Um, I guess not. We will make a zebra fizz. I'm guessing she's not the bartender, which is kind of weird that there's not a bartender right now. But here we have a card table, which is pretty cool. Just took my seat. Oh my god. Uh, shut the hell up. What? Simon? Uh-uh. We did not come here to be pretty much mocked. So we're going to go ahead and fight him. Simon Cowell, is that you? Seriously? Rude. No, come over here, buddy. Come, come over here. Please do. Please do. Oh, yeah. You messed with the wrong redhead today. Yeah, dude. Yeah, get out of your seat, please. Please do. Here we go. Uh-oh. And then they sit down at, like, two different tables. Seriously? No, go over there. Go over there. We're gonna fight him. He can't just insult us. And why is she... She's just like, oh, hey, everybody. Little does she know. Uh-oh. It's getting real. Now he's sitting down at the table. Oh, I wish I could, like, punch him just straight through the, like, sitting down, just a good punch. Imagine that. Violence is never the answer, except when you're playing The Sims, guys. So. Oh, we can actually fight him. Nadine's just like, do 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 Here we go. Seriously, don't mess with Drake. Especially when he doesn't even know you. How rude. What did you get, Simon? That's what you get. You will never be America's... Not America's Next Top Model. <laughs> you will never be the American Idol. <laughs> that was so lame. All right, and he lost. Good, that's what I like to see. And he, look, Hank's here. We're going to go ahead and uh, chat up with Hank. We're going to compliment his outfit because he does look pretty rad. So, rad, guys. I said rad. <laughs> and Nadine's over here. She's going to go ahead and... Oh, the bartender's here. Cool. We are going to order... A dim and gusty. But they made, of course. Oh, no. oh, he's feeling very confident because he won. I'm sure he is. We're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to Kiko as well, or Loco Kiko. But her name's Kiko, but she goes by Loco Kiko. Yeah, it's, it's a long story. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to her. And Nadine, why didn't you get your drink? Oh, go drink it. Go drink that one at least. And how about you go grab a drink as well? It is pretty popular here tonight. Like, it's, there's a lot of people here. Is this our guitar? Did he just plop it down or... I guess he did. So he might as well go ahead and jam out for a while after he drinks his drink. And Nadine is pretty good friends with Hank actually, so... Maybe we'll play some cards with Hank and some girls to make some good friends. Why not, right? 
He's just gonna grab his guitar and just jam out over there. Play some cards. Hank and her are pretty good friends, actually, so. And I don't think we have met Hank's wife yet, or maybe we just kinda grazed right by her, but I would love to come really good friends with her because she is so cute. She's so cute. All right. Drake's just over here, like, doing his own thing. After he got into a fight, he decides just to, just to pluck some strings, do his own thing. But yeah, are we friends with Hank? I'm pretty sure we are. Take a little look at that. Pull this up. There we go. Um, we are acquaintances, but we're almost friends. So, we are going to brighten his day a little bit. Ask about his day. <laughs> See if it worked. And we will get to know him. He's probably like, yeah. Oh, and he's a bookworm. That is something I, I'm pretty sure I told you guys about him. He's kind of a little bookworm, even though, you know, even though he doesn't exactly match the stereotype of what a bookworm would look like, which I like, you know. I think appearances are not everything. Just because somebody looks, looks a certain way does not mean that's exactly who they are. Um, and I, I love that about people, I guess. Like, they can look one way, but be, you know, something that I guess you don't expect. And I like that. Um, so he's going to use the toilet. And then I think we will be leaving soon because we're getting a little tired. It's 2 a.m. So we should probably head home. And I believe Hank just left. Yeah, he's on his way home. And, oh, please, please, we all wish right here. We all wish. Do you know how cute freaking Drake and Nadine would look driving that black car? They would look so cute. So cute. Do you know how cute freaking Jose would look driving that truck? So cute. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we are going to head home now. I was like over here like, oh, yes. Very nice. Um, yeah, guys. That's one thing that I kind of don't like. Like, here we are, right, at the Blue Velvet. I would like if we could just click right here and say go in but instead we have to like travel to the gym even though it's right next door we have to travel to the museum or this isn't the museum i forget what this is right here no this is the museum isn't it i forget i think it's the museum i could be no this is the museum right here <laughs> i'm a mess here's the museum and i believe this is the library so yeah, um, I will see you guys back at home. Just kidding, I'm actually going to come out here and cut some of the samples from these plants and all of that and collect the frogs just so we can uh, do all that good stuff. I'm like, get out there right now! You right meow, you get all that right meow! I'm so Alrighty guys, and these two are off to bed. Drake, go ahead and go to sleep, don't take a nap. And I think I'm really quickly gonna have Jose come out here and explore space space like why not spend his morning exploring space like who wouldn't want to do that right so he's just gonna head out here and do his thing here he goes he's like bye everybody <laughs> and he's off how freaking cool like i'm in love with that i seriously um jose if you don't mind Come pick me up in the space rocket and, um, you know, take me. <laughs> um, oh, what's the matter? Dangerously tired. You're not dangerously tired anymore. Jose is suddenly feeling anxious and jumpy. There's a strange tingling sensation in his hands and feet, and he feels a little lightheaded. Could he have space madness? Could something be wrong with the airflow? Oh, um, we're gonna swap the CO2 scrubber. Hopefully he doesn't die up there. <laughs> um, how about you go take a nap? Go take a nap. Seriously. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Getting worse. Hmm, this is a little disturbing. Jose thought that that would help. The next symptom of space madness is paranormal and bad decision making. No! Why didn't the fresh air tank help? It must have been a conspiracy. Jose needs to deal with this right now. I mean, I guess if he has to deal with it right now, throw the tank away. Hopefully he doesn't die. Like, please, please don't make him die. <laughs> like, I do not need this. 
suspicious. The tank that must have been tampered with. He knew there was something fishy going on. Jose puts the tank in the airlock and jets it into space. A few minutes later, he sees an empty air tank float by his window. How did that get there? Is someone following him? Is there some kind of listening device? Oh! Let's blow it up. Let's blow it up. If somebody is listening to us, then we're blowing that up. That's creepy. Oh my gosh. Like, this little old man just wanted to go to space, man. Like, literally, Jose, cancel it. Don't pick me up. Thank you, though, but don't. I don't want to anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blow it up. The tank is no match for the power, powerful laser on Jose's rocket. Zzz, it incinerates in a cloud of metal dust. Looks like he's outsmarted the government agents on his trail. Blah, 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 can it read? What's Jose's next move in his high stake game of cat and mouse? Leave a false trail. I don't know. This is like, this is seriously. Oh, Jose gathers up some random garbage and debris and ejects it out into space. Now the area is littered with empty bottles and cellophane wrappers. Did we get anything while we were up there? Look, he's all messed up now. He's dazed. <laughs> From space madness. Aw. Space zero G. The spinning, it's so unnatural, must escape. Aw, take a nap from being dazed. Here he is, so dazed. Dazed and confused. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, since he is like seriously old and probably really confused, go ahead and go to bed. Go, yeah, go take a nap. You need one. This poor little old man. People were like following him. <laughs> that is scary stuff. And yeah, he didn't bring home anything. How disappointing. I was really hoping we would get something cool, but as long as he didn't die, like, I'm okay with it. And Josh, do you have the day off? No, you have work in 23 minutes. And I'm going to have Drake. Oh, he has to go to work. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have him take the day off. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Take vacation day off. Yep. And then I want him to come down here and analyze plant samples so I can have some pretty pictures. I'm making him wake up just so I can have pretty pictures. Whatever. Then I will be ending this part as soon as that is over. All right, and we have a new picture, the Rhapsody in blue. Let's go ahead and take a little look at what that would look like. Put it right here. Here. Oh, it's really pretty actually. I like this one. This one's very, very pretty. I'll put that mm, there for now, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. All right, and all the books are doing pretty good. That's good. Just go ahead and wait for him to finish this. All right, analyze another plant sample. The more the merrier. <laughs> oh, and we got the blemish bloom. We already had that one, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And I believe we have one more to analyze. So hopefully we get a picture out of this one. I would uh, very much appreciate that. And it's the same one as before. Maybe I'll do like double over here. I think that would look kind of cool. Hold on. Maybe like a double whammy <laughs> sort of thing. I'll just put that there for now. For now, it looks good. And I will enable emotional aura on all of these. All right, and he needs to go eat, so he's gonna go have a plate for, for breakfast. <laughs> he will um, just have a quick cereal really quickly and then go back to bed for a bit. And Nadine, did you get anything? No, not really. All right. Well, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and end that part, or this part here. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.